Sitaram, Assalam Alaikum, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters of Karani Central and all of Trinidad and Tobago because I know lovers of classical singing live everywhere in this country. Every year in Karani Central since I have been MP, we have hosted an annual classical singing exposition bringing the best classical singers in the country to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. We do this with a lot of flair and that event is attended by thousands of people. On the last occasion, when we had it at the Prisal High School, we had close to 3,000 people in attendance. COVID has come and the time is very different. And today I am very pleased to be able to work with the management and staff of Jagriti Radio and TV to bring this program to you on the 31st of May. So this is our fifth annual independence Indian classical singing exposition that we will be bringing to you, except that we will not be doing it live, we will be doing it from the recorded studios of Jagriti Television and Radio. I hope that you will enjoy this. This has been nothing but a pleasure for me to bring to you in the past and now. I want to say what a joy it has been to be part of the life of the people of Karani Central and of the people who enjoy classical music of this tradition which really came out of the indentureship period, found its way in the communities at weddings and at other celebrations and wended their way into Port of Spain where from places like St. James and Borsia which also had plantations the classical singers would form tents one of them was in George Street in Port of Spain and in these tents people from all over Trinidad and Tobago would come and gather and they would go well into the night singing these Bhojpuri derived songs from the traditions of our ancestors. Although I do this every year around independence time, this year we are doing it early on the 31st of May and that is one day after Indian arrival day, the 175th anniversary of Indian arrival in Trinidad and Tobago. And that also is a significant day. My great-grandfather on my father's side came from India with my great-grandmother who came. And my grandfather and my great-grandmother on my mother's side came on another ship a few years later in the 1880s. And it is from that tradition that all of this music has come. Where I was Minister of Planning and Sustainable Development, we celebrated during the People's Partnership Government the 50th anniversary of independence in Trinidad and Tobago. And for a lot of that year, I encouraged the society and the communities to 
expose their cultural traditions and I use my own office to leverage free cultural programs to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. We took it all over the country. In Napa, in Sapa, in the halls of the communities all over Trinidad and Tobago and in the communities wherever they ask for it. And we scouted the world to see where our people were and we brought them down. So for instance, we brought David Rudder down from Toronto. We brought other artists from other parts of the world. We brought them here so that they could share. We had people in the steel band community, in the major choirs of Trinidad and Tobago. We had them involved. But we also had a classical singing exposition on one night to which a lot of people in Port of Spain who had never been exposed to Indian classical music before came. That particular program was organized by Hans Hanuman Singh, who has had a long tradition of involvement in Indian culture and national traditions coming out of that community. So, when I became Member of Parliament for Karani Central, besides the things that I would do for the community, whether it is things with local government or things with central government, the little problems that people have that they need help with, and I try to administer every day. I went to my parliamentary office every day, except when I was in Parliament or in a committee meeting. I dedicated Tuesdays to my constituents, which I continue to do, except this has been dis disrupted by COVID. And one of the things that I thought that I would do in the community, because of the kind of community it was, was to make Indian classical singing the centerpiece of an annual engagement with the community. And that turned out to be really great. And I'm very happy to be able to do this one now, although I cannot do it live. I am grateful to Jagriti, both radio and television, for making this possible with us. And I want to thank Mr. Maraj and all the people associated with the station for their goodwill and for their willingness to support this event. And I want to thank all the sponsors of this event who freely and charitably uh, contributed so that we could look after the singers and we could make sure that we have a program that was worthy of your viewership and your listenership as people who know Indian classical music. So I want to say thanks to you for all that you have done for me and all that you have done to make my time in Kearney Central really productive. And I want to say that I will see you next year in another Indian classical exposition in Kearney Central. And hopefully by that time we will have address the issue of COVID and be in a better position to engage one another and to come out in our numbers, maybe with different conditions as to how we sit, how we organize, how we organize things. But at that time, I hope that we can have another ni a nice live show next year. So I will see you in the days and the weeks and the months ahead. But as far as classical singing is concerned, enjoy this one in the safety and in the security of your homes. Have a good time as you always do. And remember, I will see you again next year, perhaps at a live show. Thank you very, very much for walking this distance with me and continuing to do so. Thank you. I am Bo Tiwari, your Member of Parliament 